Removing the Illusion Aita, Channeling Her Higher Self July of 2020 Good day to you beautiful beings of light and love, magnificent light workers, star seeds. We are pleased to connect with you. First of all, we want you to know that you are doing very well indeed, although you yourself may not perceive it to be so. Think about where you were a week, a month, a year ago. Feel how far you have ascended over time. You are not the same you that you were in bygone times. You have cleared yourself of the majority of your illusions and delusions. You have seen the negative and illogical behaviours you were taught. The third dimensional low frequency resonance The third dimensional experience that you have been through creates the negative conditions for souls in body temples to feel separation. In this resonance, without awareness of our reactive behavior, we can experiment with positive and negative behaviors. Our own misaligned and unloving behavior pulls towards us from our brethren negative words and deeds. And so we live through the planet Earth experience. We have countless lifetimes here on Earth and in the cosmos. We have been many beings, many galactic inhabitants. Planet Earth is one of the most difficult experiences, for here we lose our memory of who and what we truly are. Dear lightworkers, starseeds, you still have trouble acknowledging in your heart that you are special, you are different, you are here to help. You, dear hearts, are great multidimensional beings who sent one little part of your great spirit, your soul, into this earthly third dimension. And your time here on planet Earth has been very difficult, very challenging. You were different from the start. You could see things others couldn't see. You had wisdoms that others did not have. You were told you were different. Some in your family wondered where you came from. You have always been wiser than those around you. This has made you very lonely, for you had no one to share what you could sense and feel, see and hear. No one could validate your far-seeing eye. And your life was indeed very challenging. You were kinder than those around you. While they had only self-interest at heart, you cared for their well-being. So when they dealt with you cruelly, yelled at you harshly, even physically abused you, you could not respond in kind. That was a great trouble to you that you could not respond in kind. You accepted the fault, the blame, when it was not your fault. You bent over backwards to please the world, and the three-dimensional world took advantage of your kindness, your meek humility, and disparaged and disrespected you, for you were different. Those with little understanding cannot relate to those with much awareness and understanding. So they blindly accuse them of the ignorance and wrong-mindedness that they themselves exhibit. This is projection. Projection plays a large part in the planet Earth adventure. Humans are born with special traits and talents. This is nature, and they are conditioned into their behaviour by their parents and teachers and the society and government around them. This is nurture. Humans project their beliefs and feelings onto their young. The young ones embody this and think the thoughts of their elders. They then proceed through life with an inherited blueprint of behaviour. Much of their behaviour is unconscious. They are not aware that they have been hypnotised, conditioned into rote reactions to certain words, certain facial or bodily expressions of anger, hate, joy or love. The behaviour of those around them brings out automatic reactions. How often have we gone into a fury and a consequent guilty penance? We know we reacted angrily to some slight or denigration. We feel bad that we did, but we could not stop ourselves. Now is the time for us to see and realise which parts of our behaviour are subconsciously reactive. We lightworkers, starseeds, are in the process of doing this. We have been doing this for some time. Clearing ourselves of our illusions and delusions is a necessary part of the ascension process. 
It is the realization of how we have been reactive, how we have been trained into negative behaviors that create pain and confusion for us and our brethren. It is not easy to realize that much of what we have been taught is nonsense, and in fact many of the behaviors we were taught created separation and dissension between us. It does not take much for us to alienate each other. An angry word, a hurtful comment, a disparaging toss of the head, all these behaviours, and much more, we have been taught to do automatically. Now is the time for us to release the very last of them. Let us think about and be aware of the reactions we are creating with every word, with our every facial expression, with our demeanour. Let us emanate only love. This is getting easier and easier for you, our dear star seeds, light workers. The frequency of planet Earth is lighter and lighter each day, and as it is raising, you can feel it. You feel light and bright, as if you are floating on air. Colors are brighter, sounds are bell-like. There is a constant humming in your ears as you are lifted to higher frequencies. Sometimes you feel dizzy, even giddy. As you cleanse yourselves of your false programming, you see clearly how negatively your brethren behave towards each other. They are still reactive. They are still in the deep and dark fear vibration that has been indoctrinated into them. It is difficult for you to be with them now as you hear their deep, dark fears, their complaints and grumblings. And you know that what they are complaining about is not even true. Yet you cannot tell them they are deceived, for they are so heavily entrenched in what they believe to be the truth, and they are in so much fear that they cannot hear other viewpoints. Do not attempt to teach them. Do not get into an argument, for you will lower your vibration. Walk through this mire of negativity with open hearts and minds. Listen, smile, be there with your waves of love and light. Just be... Just breathe. Since you have cleared the large majority of your perceptions and forced programming, you, with your clear mind and loving emotions, are the only arbiter of your behavior now. Do only what feels good to you. Say only what gives you and others joy. When you are not in joy, you are out of alignment with your soul's desire. Dear lightworkers, starseeds, you are doing very well indeed. Many of you still have vestiges of addictions and escapist behaviours. Do not worry. As you raise in frequency, these will fall away naturally. You have used these ways for comfort when you were enmeshed in the low third dimensional vibration. Now you are approaching the fifth dimension of love. Just be. Just breathe. Spread your waves of love and light to your brethren. Be in joy. Be the bliss and love that you inherently are. That was Ita, channeling her higher self. We are blessed beings, indeed. <laughs>